signature move. Now there's an interesting option. Hard to get it to play with the starting deck. You might have to remove it a card or two. But if you can make it work, it's really strong. Actually, wait, I think Alpha's genuinely good now. All right, I'm in. Now our damage should be out of control. So we got a regular choice for our start here. A pretty good path up the left side here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Really good act one for a watcher. Let's take a card removal. Any snipes? We could actually potentially get two free elites. Yeah, I'm down for that. I don't take Neo's Lament very often. But we'll do it. I'm in a clicking on card sort of mood, it feels like. Floor 1's signature move. Now there's an interesting option. That is a very interesting option. Hard to get it to play with the starting deck. You might have to remove a, a card or two. But if you can make it work, it's really strong. Otherwise, I guess Just Lucky's fine? Not sure. Hmm. Skyfish is an embarrassing amount of your successful runs of Neo's Lament as the first relic. Nothing wrong with that. Might mean that you're losing your Act 1s on the subsequent runs a little often, but Nia's Lament is a completely valid uh, and powerful start. It's totally good. I had a dad joke for Hurry McDurr. Let's go with an oldie but a goodie from the chemistry background. Two atoms are sitting next to one another in a bar. One says to the other, oh my god, I think I've lost an electron. First reply is, are you sure? And the reply is, I am positive. I'm gonna, yeah, we're fighting Guardian. I'm gonna try making signature move work here. We'll lose some max HP for the Golden Idol. We will definitely aggressively remove strikes. Feels weird. We get Warped Tongue. Ends up getting a random card every turn. Comes at the cost of a removal, though. Let's get our Eruption upgraded so we can play it alongside our signature move. Purple Fortress, Bowling Bash, follow up. Bowling Bash good for picking off uh, an enemy. In multi-enemy fights. Grab one. Don't want to add too many attacks to this deck, because otherwise we won't be able to play our signature move, of course. Could make pressure points to do a thing, but I don't think so. At least we can skip. Regret my choice here in a second. I do. Alpha? Surely not.
Shuriken does not go with uh, with signature move even a little bit here. Wake up! Casual 80 damage, like you do. Keep the number of attacks relatively low, though. Love that Vigilance upgrade for plus four block. Empty body seems pretty reasonable. Empty mind might be better. Not being offered an empty mine, though. Statue guarantees potions after every combat. Who needs a mass reality? Not me. And again, more attacks that I don't want to add. No thanks. Alright, signature move should be easily able to defeat the Guardian. Hopefully. Basically immune to this multi attack thanks to Tori. No! The whiff, though. I guess I could have uh, bottled Miracle to play it there. Did not feel necessary. take less if I just defend defend. <laughs> Fair enough. Gee. Conjure Blade is interesting with signature move. Master Reality upgrades cards created during combat, or Devotion gives us Mantra each turn. Honestly, I don't think we want any of this. No thanks. Hmm. Permit. Interesting. German's not necessarily good. Makes it very hard to play signature move. In the long run, we'll make it easier to play a signature move. We do have Tori to mitigate the Philosopher's Stone. I do like the Tori. Sure, with just three removals, which might be an act and a half, or even two full acts to achieve, we can play it every time. Signature move is definitely worth investing in beyond Act 1. It could be your damage source for the whole game pretty easily. We haven't yeah, we haven't taken anything else anyway, right? I'm like oddly trusting in this pyramid. I'm gonna try it. I think this is good. I, j I do need to go to two shops like right away though. So we'll hopefully be able to get that to happen. Oh, hey, look at that. Nice. Well, that's convenient. All right. Two removals.
It's just that easy. And an amazingly good potion. Third Eye will help us set up the signature move a little bit better as well. Interesting. Man, this is a, a very good situation for Melange. One of you shuffle the draw pile, scry three. Purity here I like quite a bit for its ability to cleanse the hand of cards that I don't want. Even getting rid of Bowling Bash in some fights. And I also really like Vault for providing an extra turn. Especially with Pyramid. So I'm thinking something along the lines of Vault Purity, one card removal, don't go to the second store. There's also, of course, a Toxic Egg, letting us upgrade any and all skills from here on out. That means no Vault and no card removal. It means nothing else here, though, and I don't think we are allowed to do that. Don't think that's allowed. Pyramid Apparitions. Well, had we taken the Toxic Egg, this would be an easy pick. Actually, not sure that I do want that. No, I don't think I want to. Not today. No! Not bad. Cut their fate's a bit awkward with a signature move. Much prefer the third eye. Meh. And I think that with these potions I'm allowed to fight slavers. And win. Who am I though? This actually seems fine, right? Let's take one. Got to keep the ambrosia. 
Picking up the strike dummy, making our two strikes do three more damage each. Muddled Miracle comes back. Study actually could be okay in a deck like this. Enabling us to draw the same card over and over. Hmm. Thank you, Strike Dummy. Thingy is block on turn two. That's good stuff. Thank you. Oh, not bad with the signature move, actually. Take another event. Duality. Whenever we play an attack, gain one temporary dexterity. Okay, that could have been a good reason to take a weave. Turn, right? Yeah. Okay, this is a good uh, attack card. It's a zero cost attack on the turn that we create it. It is not an attack until we actually play it, so it works with Signature Move, even though it's a damage card. And we're allowed to skip, too. In case it gives us something we don't want, or can't use. Secret Toxic Egg! <laughs> if a form, interesting. Souvenir might have been nice. Flash of Steel does some interesting things. That's halfway to infinite. Sort of. Or simply remove a card. I think simply remove a card. If you have two signature moves in hand at the same time, you are very sad. Generally speaking. Is your life has not turned out the way that you wanted. Okay. Good liquid memory is that, but it does not actually benefit me. Attack, only attack. Um, like this. Yeah. Good job, Flash. Pantograph is a nice heal at the sort of boss fights, and upgraded cut through fates a little hard to say no to. Actually, wait, I think Alpha's genuinely good now. Alright. I'm in. I am in. Most of the interaction between Alpha and Vault that is particularly good. Hmm. 
I'm not even memeing on this alpha, genuinely, because because it's not an attack and because we have the vault to essentially generate turns at will. I think in some combats, not this one. Uh, but specifically against a Collector, it's going to be really good. Unironically so. Ooh, meditate. Yeah. Meditate puts cards in my hand. That's where I want them. For example, I'm just gonna vault right now. That might have been a waste, but... My story, and I'm sticking to it. Summon. And then we just want to find our Omega. <laughs> nice resummon, nerd. Clock. Don't think that we want uh, any of these. No need for miracles. We definitely don't want a three cost attack. I uh, don't think we want any attacks at all. So I'd rather just take an energy relic over the Deus Ex here. Take an energy relic, we shall. The fusion hammer prevents us from upgrading, or the Brink Dome prevents us from seeing enemy intents. I guess we could also take. Sacred Bark with White Bee Statue, doubling the effect of potions, but... This feels like a pretty comfy Fusion Hammer, honestly. All the important stuff is already upgraded. And we still have to recall. Unupgraded cards are Strike, Defend, 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 Purity, Alpha. And I don't want to upgrade Alpha, because that just makes it innate. So let's take a Fusion Hammer, quite happily and proceed onwards to the Spire. I am racing through this run. 25 minutes, huh? It's cool by me. Move our last strike.
Go with the yes. Yes to Mantra for now. Might be better than a card removal, drawing cards until our hand is full. Speeding us up quite a bit, making it easier to get Alpha, Beta, Omega down. Yeah, I'll take that. Got a chance. make this work. Signature move beta, here we go. Attack for 80 on this turn, so Bowling Bash Omega is not enough. Let's do Bowling Bash Eruption signature move then. That's actually all we need to do. Unless then that happens. Now I need to liquid memories, and that's okay. Yep. Discard that, put it back into my hand, and play it. Crush also helps make this signature move, like, hit way harder. It is another attack, but it's one that I think is worth adding here. Okay, unavoidable fire this way. Let's go the way of the avoidable fires. And it did indeed say plus. Always goes a long way. Should be the last of the divinity that we need. Now our damage should be out of control. All we have to do is set up one good turn sometimes. I 
like this one. Nobody needs a stinky tantrum. Nobody. Crush Joint to the signature move now does 180 damage with Divinity plus Vulnerable. That's really all we need. for one here. Hard drawn Blanc. Getting a little thick here. It's okay. To 22 cards. Maybe stop adding them eventually. Eh, maybe. Use my power potion here. Smites actually sound very helpful for this fight. Picking up these daggers. For the blue key, we skipped Shuriken, I believe. Sway Saraz, thank you so much for the Prime sub in those seven months of support. Gremlin Horror. Wait a minute. Was I a fool to attack the daggers in the first place? Yes, I was. 
get her out of here. Astriality upgrades a couple of things. I don't think anything that's important, though. Turn this strike into... a... tantrum. Not sure if I wanted that. There's Meditate. A little bit late. Or is it? Lizard Tail gives us a check second chance at life when we would die healing to half HP. That's going to enable uh, survivability against the heart quite a bit, I think. Let's just take another turn here. Even play Alpha in this fight? I don't think I'm going to. Divinity Meteor Strike, you say? Let me in. How's that for overkill? Take <laughs> okay, 287 excess damage, sir. Mental Fortress feels like the missing piece of our uh, block engine, even if it is unupdated. Multi-kill. 
Spiker kid, good luck. Yeah, unrecovered. Howdy, howdy. Yes. Last piece of our divinity puzzle. A second upgraded prostrate. Love that we got many, many upgraded cards. One, two, three, four upgraded cards since taking Fusion Hammer. It's so good. We have a guide for the one relic achievement. I'm actually working on that one right now, Unrecovered. That's probably the next one that'll go up on the YouTube. If the music seems out of tune, Gentle Bob, try giving the page a refresh. Happens sometimes. Uh, it's a twitch, twitch issue that can usually be fixed by refreshing the page. is unfortunately a persistent site-wide issue. Do I even hit the bird this turn? Yes. This is an egregious waste of my damage output, though. No need to play Alpha here, surely.
<laughs> so weird, I've never had the experience of actively wanting to remove Tantrum before, but here we are. Shapes, Donu, and Decca. This is a fight where I'll probably actually use Alpha, Beta, Omega. Let's card that, that, and stay. That's duality doing. 134. Yeah, that's duality for you. It just be like that sometimes. Ship Vault, actually. Seems fine. Be 30, 30, 30, not quite enough. Take a bit of damage here then. Okay. Not that it matters a whole lot. Thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of this one extremely fancy move. Local watcher conquers the spire using this one weird trick. Spire elites hate her. Oh man, and that one weird trick is getting rid of all of our status cards with a medical kit. The Shrunkening. 
Is this actually a use case for enlightenment? Genuinely, actually. It makes Worship cheaper, it makes Vault cheaper, it makes Signature Move cheaper, it makes Omega cheaper, it makes Vigilance cheaper. That's not bad. That is not bad. I think a Duplication Potion would be obscenely strong. We should definitely get that. Yeah, also Beta, Beta cheaper. We'll probably buy this Master Strategy. I'm definitely going to remove Tantrum. There's an attack card that puts itself back in the draw pile is actually horrible for us. Do that, and I can go Master Strategy, Duke Pot. Wait, can I? No, I can't. I can go Master Strategy, Colorless Potion. Swivel is a decent uh, block source here. This dew pot is so strong, though. Nine gold short? Where's ceramic fish? When you need it. Dupe the alpha. And you get two betas and two omegas. Brilliant. I'll just do a little bit more damage. That'll help against the spire elites. Sure. Sure, why not? Okay, very happy to see Vault in the opening hands. Hmm. Not a great turn overall. Vaulting. Perfect. Is that just death? Or then? I think so, right? Enter divinity? Bonk. A bonk. And claw. <laughs> you know, I'll take the draw too, thank you. Alright, good turn. My dear child claw some block, but we're good. you to have block. More mantra. Prey is kind of interesting here. I think we've got enough mantra, though, that we're reliably entering divinity, and we have an ambrosia to enter divinity at our whim. So, I think we're good. Feels like a perfect setup for the heart. Let's... Let's go, chat. And we have a lizard tail for this, too, don't forget. Now, none of that's going to prevent these initial turns from being a little awkward. I'm almost wondering if we Duplication Potion Mental Fortress. A little sad, unupgraded, but... It's kind of our best block. Maybe that's not true. Give to the Ambrosia as well. I think our damage is fine. Now I've got Tori. Yeah. I'll do it. Oh, instant divinity, wow. Okay.
instant divinity with which to do what exactly? Port influence into wallop. Only. Okay, we might as well have Divinity. Divinity Akabeko signature move sounds grand. Could have been Divinity Akabeko Ragnarok. I actually just don't want any of this. Corruption's actually useful with the Mental Fortress, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. I get rid of two defends and slime or something. I guess one and one and slime is reasonable here. sorts of important stuff. And we actually hit the damage camp anyway, so it doesn't matter here. If you vault, the damage cap does not reset. On the heart. So if the heart doesn't... Yeah, the damage cap resets at the start of the heart's turn. If the heart doesn't get to take a turn, the damage cap does not reset. Okay, plenty of damage being done. I'll just do a regular style signature move next turn. Actually, no. We'll let Omega do it. GG. Hey, hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Did you know that I'm live five days a week on Twitch? Come join us to watch me live, ask questions, or chill with the community. Click the link in the description below to follow and be notified when I'm live. And while you're down there, make like a sandwich and sub to this channel for more fresh Baylor content. Ta-ta for now.